What's happening, good people? My name is Doug, and this is Thabra Media. I've been wondering since Sora came out last week if it is actually helping an argument with simulation theory. If you're not sure what simulation theory is, we're going to touch on that in a minute. But just a quick note, I've been a little sick in the past week, so I enlisted some AI assistants to help me this week. I've got Art, inspired by Avatar The Last Airbender, and done Mid Journey. Chat GPT helped with the scripting, and Eleven Labs helped with the audio. Here you go. Check it out. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think on the other side of this video. What's happening, good people? Let's talk about the simulation theory and the recent uproar in the AI world, especially with OpenAI's Sora, painting our screens with pixels that almost whisper, is this real? We're diving into the rabbit hole of reality, folks. Guided by the latest in generative AI and pondering whether our existence might just be someone else's coding project. We'll touch on Sora's groundbreaking capabilities, how they play into the simulation debate, and why you might start questioning more than just your internet connection. Sora is like the digital Houdini, transforming bland text into vivid, lifelike videos. This isn't just innovation. It's almost like creating life itself, pixel by pixel. Imagine conjuring up a video of a mythical forest or a bustling cityscape from a simple sentence. Sora's doing it, and it's doing it with style, detail, and a flair that's making people sit up and take notice. But here's where it gets even juicier. Sora isn't just making pretty pictures, it's weaving realities. With the ability to animate static images and edit videos based on text prompts, Sora isn't just a tool, it's a portal to new worlds. It's like being given the keys to the Matrix, minus the dodgy trench coats and questionable sunglasses. Now, let's sprinkle a little simulation theory into the mix. This theory suggests that all of reality, including the Earth and the universe, could actually be an artificial simulation. For example, physicist Nick Bostrom's simulation argument posits that at least one of the following propositions is true. Virtually all civilizations at our level of technological development go extinct before becoming technologically mature. The fraction of technologically mature civilizations that are interested in creating ancestor simulations is close to zero. Or we are almost certainly living in a computer simulation. With advancements like Sora, the lines between reality and simulation blur even further. If we can generate a video that's indistinguishable from reality, Who's to say we're not part of a larger simulation ourselves? So what does all this mean for folks like you and me? It means we're living in exciting times where technology like Sora isn't just changing how we create, it's challenging how we think about existence itself. As we marvel at these advancements, let's not forget to question, to wonder and to dream about the endless possibilities. And remember, in a world where AI can paint realities, Keeping an open mind is your ticket to the greatest show on Earth, or in the simulation. Before you go back to questioning if your morning coffee is just a line of code, hit that like button, share your thoughts, and subscribe for more mind-bending content. You've been watching Thabri Media. We've been talking about simulation theory and the wizardry of Sora. Until next time, keep making the things that make you happy.